Here we go! This is Tuesday Sketching Live. We sketch cars here. For those that don't know me, my name is Luciano Bove and I am a professional car designer. Since a long time, believe me. Anyway, here we are. For those that know me, how you doing? And for those that don't know me, hi and welcome to this channel. Here basically we do design education, car design education. So in reality, the real name of this channel, just like my Instagram profile and the other ones on social networks, it is car design education tips, which is also the name of my first blog that came out in 2007. So long time ago now that we are here sketching together. I am a former teacher in car design I've taught for 11 years in three different types of design schools. And those that uh, follow me since a long time are asking themselves, hey, Luciano, why the hell are you talking about your past professional experiences? Because we know you. I know that you know me. But sometimes there are new people that don't know me, and that's why I'm here once in a while reminding everybody who I am, where I come from, okay and why i am here how are you so let's start so basically what i want to do it's uh, yesterday i made a really nice uh, top view okay and this is you know in reality this is the type of uh, of base that you can prepare so that you can put your wheels and then let's build on top something, something that is interesting, okay? All right, so now we are 12. Okay, good. So, let's start. I make a wheel. I make the other one. Don't forget that uh, the minor axis, it's going to the vanishing point. Minor axis going to the vanishing point, which is over here somewhere. Maybe this is a little bit too wide, so I'm fixing, I'm trying to fix my, my perspective. And um, that's very important. I hope you can uh, hear me really well. I just put the microphone a little bit closer so that uh, it can be better for you. All right. Okay, so now it's better. I can see that it's a little bit stronger. Okay, so... All right, so hypothetically, the other wheels are over there, okay? And uh, let's make uh, some funky, some funky designs. You know, I, I really want to make something that is, it's a little bit strange. Something that I wouldn't do, to be honest, but why not? Okay, for the moment, I just make something that is kind of squarish with a strange shape, okay? So, as you can see, well, this one is not very nice, so we have to change this. So I'm trying to make something with a very strange shape in top view, okay? It's very triangular, okay? But don't worry, I'm not going to do something that is for Tesla, because I, I don't like their, their triangular stuff, okay? So we're going we're gonna to fix this. Okay, so first of all, we have a base here, okay? So I would say that uh, we can start using this one, okay? Okay, so what do you think so far? Very funky shape. Let's, uh, let's find some grays, gray markers. I'm taking my markers here, 
Okay. I'm searching for my markers so that we can get uh, we can start putting some we can we can start putting some shading. I, I want to do something that is kind of fast, okay, not too complicated. Okay, we're gonna use this gray that is a little bit violet for the sky tone. Then we have also the light uh, blue for the sky tone and stuff like that. Okay, but first of all, let's use uh, this dark one. Okay, okay, let's use this dark one. Okay. So I'm I'm doing now the shadow that will also make my background. So I have interesting nearly now that shadow so that I got a sort of an automatic background. And I'm doing this with a gray that is a number 10. Okay, so it's almost a black. It's a number 10 from Chart Pack. Okay, 80 markers. Then I will use this one also to make the, the reflection on the glass. Like that. Kind of straight. So it's kind of flat, this surface. Okay. And at the same time, okay, then I will make on top, let's make a sort of a structure here, okay? So when I make that structure, then I have a glass here, okay, on top. Here I have my, my structure, and then we have to take care about what's going to happen here. So, let's make a few sections, just that to get the idea of how this shape is going to be, before we're going to put all the others all the other shadings and reflections. So now we have a better idea of what's going on here, okay? So, so this is going to be basically black. And I make all this reflection on the side black. But here, down here, it's not going to be like that. For a very simple reason, is that... Uh, This is phasing the, the ground, okay? So what we're gonna do here, it's gonna be reflecting there. And that's why I leave it like that for the moment. So now let's take this gray that can give us a little bit of the sky tone because it's almost violet, okay? It's a very light violet. I can show you here, you see? So, <clears throat> let's do it. Because it's a little bit dry, it's very easy to make a nice shading, you see? We get to the white, 
And that's exactly what I want. I take advantage of this. Okay. Now I put this violet, okay? But I'm not finished yet because I have to put also, all right? So here I have some, some reflections too. And here too. You see? Now look what I'm doing. I'm starting to make, to work on the ground to make a reflection. You see? You can see here, I'm starting to work with some reflections, then I will go back with the marker. Okay, now this is just with this dark gray, okay, which is very nice. But now we have to start thinking about reflections, transparency, what's going on in the in the back here, and what's going on, going on here. So that that's going to be our really tricky part. Okay, I will go there in a while, okay? At the moment, what I want here, I want to use the sky tone, okay, which is this uh, light blue, okay, it's a sort of, it's called sapphire, look, it's very nice, very nice blue, and let's put it this nice blue. I, I need to see that blue, you see? And a little bit also here in the front. And then we're going to have a little bit of that blue also here. You see, it's coming. Little by little, this, this thing is coming out. Okay. But here, we're going to do something. Here, I think it's going to be warm. Because we have to bal counterbalance, you know, the warm, the cool light coming from the top because the sky tone from the warm. And if we think that from here we have a, a really nice California sunshine, okay, so sunset, sunset. So we're going to have warm light coming from here going into that area. And this is going to do something really interesting. So let's wait before we touch this area. But at the same time, I, I'm looking for my black. So I need a black. And here I have my black. This time I'm mixing. It's a Pantone, it's a Copic marker, black, okay? Let's use the black. I really need that black to increase contrast. Okay, here too. Here too. You see, it's getting deeper and deeper. Here. Okay, so here it's like the structure we have here. Okay? So I can just put some lines, okay, like that, okay? 
looks nice. And here I put just a line here too. Okay, now in this area I need to be to be darker. I know that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search for the right marker so that I can get I can get that spot darker. You see? Now I'm getting that shading that I'm looking for. You see? I know that it looks a little bit sad simply because I don't have the warm color in it yet. And then we're gonna add some accents with the Posca pen, which they're gonna be basically acrylic in blue and stuff like that. So don't worry, it's gonna come. It's going to come. So let me search for something that uh, let me see this one frost blue nice you see it's a little bit stronger why not you see it's a little bit stronger and it looks nicer okay now let's find our nice orange creamy whatever we want to make this area really California sunshine okay so first of all let me find some yellows that that one looks strong what about this one that's more orangey okay we could we could start with this one with this one which is really light okay let's let's see what happens i hope i don't i don't make a mess okay if i make a mess forgive me so i'm using this light yellow okay and I put a little bit on top here too, just a little. I want that those two, you know, don't mix, but almost they do, a little bit. Then I use this orange as a base because this is the sky tone, you know, in California when we get the sunset. See, now it's starting to vibrate a little bit, to vibrate. Then I go with this nice orange. Let me see this one. This is really... Okay, we're going to use this after. So I'm using this orange, which, see, which is in reality, it's called yellow, Golden Yellow from Copics, okay? And I mix, we really need that. You see, look, wow, that's cool. That's really strong. So let's wait, okay, let it dries so that we can complete some of those things we are doing. But one thing I can do, look what I do. I can take that orange and get it from the back a little bit, you know? So it makes everything looking that looks like they come together. You see?
Okay, let's take a few seconds break while, while this is kind of mixing, you know, a little bit. So let's use this one, which is really nice color. And now let's make it like You see? Now it looks good. Now we're getting something interesting. But here, this blue is a little bit too light. So in reality, I need some uh, darker blue to counter, you know, to balance all that so that we get some really hot blue coming from that side. So let me search and see what I have if I have, because if I don't, I just use my best blue selection, which I do have here. Okay, I have it. I have it. As you can see, we got some nice blue there. Okay? By the way, if you want to offer me a coffee, you have the super stick and super chat buttons that you can use okay let's see what happens with this one and thank you by the way You see, this blue is better because it's a little bit stronger and, uh, and it really helps to balance what's happening here with what's happening on top. Hey, now we have really a nice balance between the two parts and we can start seeing even better the shape so now let's go back with uh, the warm yellow uh, wait a second that I make some space okay which is this one and let's take care a little bit of the ground because the ground has to have that yellow you know also a little bit here then we can use it a little bit here here too then we're gonna use a little bit of this one you know this in a way we're gonna reproduce what we did in this area just slightly not too strong unless it becomes messy okay so I take this one Okay, I hope you are enjoying. I'm not talking too much, I'm sorry. Today I'm a little bit tired. It's Monday. It's Tuesday. Okay, now we have to think a little bit of some detailing because now our sketch, let's say we have almost everything in it, okay? So look what I do. 
this is really the top okay so here we have a part that's gonna be black so I take the black marker it's this one all right I'm trying to make this a little bit kind of glossy, you know. Don't, don't worry, when after I will put the white. When I put the white, everything is gonna pop out. That's normal. So this is the shadow of this element here. And we must have that shadow here too. So first of all, let's put this black as much as we can, okay? And then let's do that, that shadow that is also a little bit here. You see? Okay, I don't know if it's really clear, but there is a shadow there. And th then the same thing we're going to do it here. All right, so now here we have the interior part of our wheel. I take again my black marker just to complete this top part here. Okay, and then I will use a, a dark gray. Let me find a dark gray that is not too dark. This is not good. Okay, I will use my my number nine. Okay, my number nine. here too okay and I will use also my number two to make a little bit of shading okay because this is inside Here too. This we can make it a little bit darker. It's not that important. Now you see we we are starting to get those wheels correctly, you know, with the top and stuff. So what I want to do, we need some graphics here because we have to make it look cool. And also we need a little bit of yellow in this area here here too Okay, so now with the pencil, I will just draw some lines. So I can make a sort of a nice graphics.
Okay, as you can see, this is just my lines on to which I will do something, with which I will do something. So first of all, let's make Okay, I'll do the same thing here. All right, so now you know, it just it's just a graphics, okay? You can change it, you can do something whatever you want. Now, if I have this here, I have to do something like that here to make sure that uh, it doesn't look strange. Okay. And then... Okay, those are little details after we're gonna put some highlights on top of them. Now, with my black pencil, let's make some details, okay? Okay, is here we're gonna make uh, the lights. You will see. Now I'm starting taking my white pencil. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to put a little bit of highlights with my white pencil. Okay, here we have... Let's put a little bit... Um, Let's say that this is the glass for the door. It's a strange door, very strange. I'm just putting highlights, you know, a little bit. And of course, in the back, we're gonna have some some sort of red. We will put it after in a while. You'll see. I'm, I will do that. Okay. So now we got a sketch. Okay, of a strange vehicle. All right. So now, now what do I do? I take those Posca. You see, this one. I want you to look at that because it, 
those are can be very useful but it depends all depends the way you use it okay the way you use it black orange i'm looking for uh, the red here we have also yellow we got some blue okay there are lots of nice colors we got also uh, some uh, no pink i don't need the pink we need also this light blue okay like this one especially and of course i bought those because i i told myself i have to try to use them and see what, what's going on you know if they are if they can be really interesting you know okay so first of all that's how you do you shake it a little bit okay then let's use a, a page paper like this one on which we can make a test you see it's a very nice sharp point it's acrylic inside you can try you see it's already not bad okay so let's let's do it and you can sketch with it that's a good thing you can you can make a sort of a sketch you know okay so here we need to put a little bit You see, and I'm making now the light that looks much, much better than before. You see? Not bad. It's not finished. I need some little details there, but I will do this after. Okay, so now we have the lights. Now we need a very nice highlight on the glass reflection. You know, you have to have your hand really working really well without making strange, strange lines, okay? You see? Not bad. Yes, I like this. Then we need a highlight here. Just like one here. And as you can see, my highlights are always elliptical, always. I have fun when I do those sketch, sketches using this type of, uh, of tools, you know? Okay, now look what happens to our wheels where we have to, you know, pop up a little bit more, you know. You 
you have just to know where to put those lights, those highlights, and then it will look really nice. <clears throat> Okay, so the front is done. Now let's look, let's take, let's look a little bit here. You see? Okay, so here we have some orange. We can add a little bit of orange here from coming from the back, you know? Yeah, why not? Let's do this, look. punchy this has to be a punchy artwork okay so this is for the orange now I take the red and with the red we're gonna make just little things I want a little bit more contrast okay Okay, so now on top, I am going to make the, the backlight, okay? So I put a line like that, like this, let's see. Okay, so we have some red there. I think we got we have to re to have some red in this area because we can imagine that inside we have some uh, I don't know some graphics, some displays, you know stuff like that. Then we can have some graphics. For example, you know we can have. Uh, one is doing like that you see in red and then I take my green that is like uh, something what is my green echo here I have my green That is probably it's going to be here. This is a sort of graphics, you know. Then we can have a little bit of this here too. You know. And then we got some black because with the black we're gonna increase the contrast. We're gonna make sure that everything that was supposed to be black, it's really black. Yes. So where do I do? Uh, I apply the black eh, where I want, where I need the really highest contrast. So next to the white, you know, it's like painting to be honest. You see, I clean up 
and I, I make the, the graphics look a little bit better. You see? Now we have nice graphics there. Okay, so another area where we need the black, it's here. Next to the highlights, all this part is black. You know, all this type of contrast and warm and warm light and and uh, and cool light and those type of things. I you know, I it's always looking at uh, Sid Mead excellent works. I mean, it's thanks to him, you know, that I have a sort of uh, an idea how I want to do this when I start doing it. I think always of his, about his works, the way he used play, he plays with light, with colors. And of course, I do it my and my souls, but uh, the, the inspiration comes from there. All right, so I hope you like this sketch. Oh, today nobody did said anything, no comments today. That's okay, no problem. Okay, quick sketching, all right, done together. Okay, Ali, I hope you like it. I think it's, it's, it's kind of cool, you know, it's a little, it's fun, it's really fun, to be honest. Okay, so this is it. This is our, the sketch for today, okay? I don't know if you like it. I hope so. I hope you do. I put just a little bit of white light glare here that I forgot. Okay. In general, this shows a little bit more the, the glass. Okay. The feeling of the glass. And then with the black pencil, I just go over so that we can get a feeling of all the a little bit of transparency we get in the back from inside okay something like that then we can use the yellow and with the yellow here we can also I forgot we can just give an accent you know look because much stronger That's nice. Okay, guys, 
that's it let me change the camera okay so one two three here we are and uh, I, I'll take again uh, the sketch in front of you so that you can see it okay this is a, a technique uh, I would say it's a mixed media technique markers pencils and also those fantastic Posca you know those Posca pens because with the Posca pens it looks really nice you can make really vibrant colors so why not I mean why not to experiment and try you know to be honest so this is it okay I'll, I like to put it much better here so that you can see it if you want to leave me a coffee a, a pizza or a beer you can hit always the the buttons the fantastic dollar sign button for super sticker super chat whatever you want okay thank you very much and later on maybe just a thank you button you know for this demo done for you today on this channel okay thank you very much i really hope you enjoyed it okay and uh i think that uh this is it for today okay Thank you very much. Ciao. Thanks. Bye bye. Grazie. Put your likes. Put your likes. That's very important. Put your likes. Okay? Leave comments if you want. I can give you any explanations. No problem. Thank you very much. Ciao. Bye bye.